What is going on guys, my name is Mehul and welcome to your 9th Node.js tutorial in which I'm just gonna show you an alternative to the approach which we saw in the last tutorial and the alternative is that how to just keep the states intact of each module when they are included simultaneously in a single file. So what I told you guys in the last tutorial is that we are gonna make use of this new keyword and all of those JavaScript geeks out there who are familiar quite well with JavaScript should know that new keyword is used when you are making use of a function and that function is referred as constructor. So whenever you call a function with the new keyword, you just said that that function is a constructor. So since we are making use of the new keyword as I told you we're gonna create a constructor in this main module so let's just say I'm gonna create um, a function let's just say this is construct function and inside here what I'm gonna say is that just return me an object and what this object would consist of is let's just say name is a function and first name last name and we're gonna need another variable so let's just say name holder and we're gonna say name holder is first name plus last name then I'm gonna need another function which is just the console log and just show the function show the name so it'll just console log name holder all right so there's no need to confuse yourself here now you can see that this looks much better so we are just essentially returning an object only nothing fancy going on here so let's just export uh, exports I guess construct function now although this function returns an object but still this is a function so we can make use of the new keyword so inside your module 1 just go ahead and write require main module and you can end with that js and I'm just gonna throw this in uh, mod and then I'm just gonna say our name is new mod and uh, new mod and then I'm gonna say mod dot name is these two parameters mayhul mohan and then i'm gonna say mod dot console log similar to this one as well i'm just gonna say or change this to something else all right and i guess i just forgot to include a space here you go and open the terminal and write node main no main yeah no main file or js all right mod dot name is not a function okay so I guess I just made use of the incorrect variable name there here you go so now you can see that we get Mehul Mohan and Nitish Agarwal as separate names although they are sharing the same module so that's how you kind of prevent the overriding of all that stuff and just avoiding that bad conflicts and uh, yeah so that's pretty much the basics of javascript which we are discussing so if you knew that already then that's well good and if you didn't 
then here you go so in the next tutorial I don't know what we'll be doing but that would be great and so yeah so that's all for this one and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching